everybody this is Dakota from the Techies World and following up on a video I did a couple weeks ago we're going to do another repair video this week and uh, this week we're going to be focusing on this early 2006 MacBook Pro um, and in this video we're going to learn how to do a RAM upgrade and also replace the hard drive on a 2006 MacBook Pro. Um, I would also, I would like to point out a couple things uh, before we actually get started. You could technically use this guide to do a RAM and hard drive replacement on some of the other MacBook Pros. That would be the 2006, 2007, and 2008. The non-unibody MacBook Pros that look like this. Uh, not the MacBook Pros that look like this. Uh, this is a whole different breed of machine and this is not the machine you're looking for. It's the 2006, 2007, and early 2008 models. Uh, after, I think it was mid or late 2008 when the unibody MacBook Pros came out. Uh, this is not the video for you. This is for these old uh, machines. And you could also possibly use this video as a guide for a PowerBook G4. That would be a 15 or 17 inch G4 PowerBook. Uh, the 12 inch PowerBook has a completely different design and um, maybe at some point if I get a 12 inch PowerBook I might show a video on how to do a disassembly on that. But uh, the 15 and 17 inch PowerBook G4s have a very similar design to the MacBook Pro, the non-unibody MacBook Pro, and you could technically uh, use this guide to do a hard drive replacement on a PowerBook. Just keep in mind things are going to be in slightly different places, they're going to be slightly different sizes of screws and you may have to do a couple more steps. Okay, enough of this filler chatter, let's get into it. Okay, so your first step is going to be to remove the battery. Flip the MacBook Pro upside down and remove the battery by using these two little release latches here. Next, we're going to take off the RAM access panel. Remove these three Phillips screws from the RAM panel. They're all the same size. Then lift off the RAM cover. If all you want to do is upgrade RAM, congratulations, you're at this part. To replace the RAM modules, pull these little release levers out and then the memory module will pop up. Then remove the module. Make sure that you know which way the RAM module went out so that way you know how to put the new module back in. If you want to get to the hard drive, remove these Phillips screws inside of the battery bay. This machine is actually missing one of them, so there'd actually be two there. Take out both of them. Next, grab your T6 Torx driver and take out these two Torx screws on each side of the RAM modules. Then remove the four Phillips screws along the back of the machine. They're all the same size and they're pretty long. And now we're gonna tackle the screws along the side of the MacBook Pro. Here's a trick to make them easier to get to. First off, we're going to start on the left side. Remove the four Phillips screws you see along the side of the MacBook Pro. They're all the same size. Then flip the computer around to the rear and take out the two Phillips screws along the rear. This machine again is missing those so they'd actually be there. Again, they're the same size as the other screws. And then rotate the MacBook Pro to the right side and take out the four Phillips screws along the right side of the machine. Again, they're the, all the same size as the other screws. And now we're going to remove the top case. 
Place your fingers at the top here and then pull up ever so gently. Okay, I think we need to pause here just for one second and uh, do a little explanation here. Now the next part that's coming up in this repair process can be a little um, difficult and it does have some very odd sounds, but don't get frustrated here. What the deal is, is on the top case of the, uh, of the MacBook Pro, there are clips that go all along the front side uh, of the machine. They're actually part of the top case and the clips clip into the bottom case. And I think there's three clips over here on the left side and then there's a bunch of clips over the optical drive. So what you need to do is you need to release these clips. And it does make a fairly awful popping sound. So that popping sound you will hear actually is normal. That is what you want to hear. Those are the clips releasing. But there's a couple of different ways of doing this. First of all, if you have what's called a spudger, or it's also known as a black stick, which is this thing right yeah, uh, you can slide that along the front groove of the machine while you push up very, very lightly with it, and uh, that will actually release all the clips along the front of the machine. The second way of doing it is the way I'm going to do it, and that is when you have, you just kind of visualize I have the top case, so you're going to rock it very gently back and forward until the clips release. You'll hear that very ominous popping sound, those are the clips releasing and you want to pull up very, very lightly with it, rocking it very lightly forward until the clips release. You don't want to put a lot of pressure on this. If you reef up um, on this top case, you will either cause damage to the clips or there is a flex cable, which you'll see, which basically connects the keyboard and the trackpad to the logic board. You know, if you go all yinkman on it and you yank it, uh, you could rip the flex cable, which is not good, uh, or you could damage the clips, which is not good either. So you want to be very gentle when you do it. Don't go all, you know, crazy with it. Just be gentle. Once you have the top case lifted up, you want to look for the keyboard ribbon cable. To remove it, peel back the piece of cap tape and then very gently release the cable from the logic board. Next up, disconnect the hard drive ribbon cable from the logic board. Next, carefully remove the sleep light and IR sensor connectors from the top of the hard drive. Next up, you're going to remove these two Phillips screws along the right side of the hard drive. These screws are actually holding the hard drive retaining bracket in place. Sometimes this bracket can give you a little bit of trouble when you're putting the hard drive back in. Next, slide the Bluetooth board out of its slot next to the hard drive. Next up, lift up on the top of the hard drive and pull out. You're going to want to remove the hard drive ribbon cable. Be very gentle with this cable. One thing to know, if you're going to be replacing this hard drive, you'd want to remove the four little rubber bumpers and the associated T6 screws from the hard drive. The screws and the bumper secure the hard drive into the hard drive bracket when the hard drive is in the computer. All right, so there you go. That is how you conduct a RAM and hard drive replacement on a non-unibody MacBook Pro. That would be a 2006, 2007, or 2008 model. Not all that difficult. There's a couple of tricky spots um, in this repair process, and it's most notably those clips. They can sometimes give you a little bit of a hassle. Of course, doing hard drive replacements on these MacBook Pros right here are actually a heck of a lot easier but um you know and you know it's actually not that bad uh compared to some other mac models it isn't all that bad and of course the powerbook g4s are basically built almost the exact same way um again you could technically use this for a g4 powerbook a 15 or 17 inch powerbook and i don't believe the powerbooks have those clips so uh those clips on the front of the computer so my suggestion is if you are going to use this for a powerbook uh, use it uh, loosely and then please look at a repair guide on how to do that. I don't have a PowerBook G4 similar to this so um, I can't show you the differences because I don't have a PowerBook like that but that'll do it for this video. If you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from the techies world make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below. Uh, check out the website because there's blog posts to all new videos. Every single time a video is uploaded there will be a blog post over on the website and make sure you check out all of those social media accounts and the links to those will be in the video description down below. Follow them all if you'd like and check out the website, subscribe, like it, share it, all that stuff. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. I'm significant, you're missing it. Reaction to official cause the beat is so explicit and my dreams are now elicited. Not enough to see it, scratch it, read it, call it, read it, read it, first the beat and then the animal that needs it.